Yes. Cross friends, welcome to the 2018 FIL World Championships here in lovely Netanya, Israel. I am Stephen Stamp. I will be joined shortly by Ryan Wallace, and we will be bringing you this game between Luxembourg, a first-time team here at the World Championships, and Uganda, who were the darlings of the 2014 championship in Denver when they made their initial appearance. Should be an exciting game. By halftime into the game, we were still trailing behind Luxembourg and uh, the courage in the players to overturn the result. I can say I have never seen a determined set of players on, the, on, on, on this side, on Uganda, on the Uganda team, than I saw on that day. Everyone was almost giving their heart out for us to be able to get that win. and. Uh, I, I had started the game, then I, I was pulled off out of the game uh, uh, to be substituted with fresh legs. And then when I stepped onto the field, I, I was able to, to, to score the, the tiebreaker after the game had been 5-5 five, five for, for about 10 minutes. That is the most special moment of, of the game so far that I have had. And I have never received so much love from, that, from my teammates because, you know, Everyone, everyone was happy about the moment, and that inspired my teammates also to go ahead and score another goal that made it 7-5, and it was 7-5 for about six more minutes in the fourth quarter, until when it was less than a minute that Luxembourg pulled a goal back to make it 7-6. Feel it. Once we get going, clock will run. This is going to be an important clear it's in. Here. Oh, he just throws it up in the air. That's going to be almost grabbed by the long pole instead. Oh, nobody can pick it up. A few nerves here and there. Ball pops away from Akura. Ten, and he 20. swats it ahead. Great play to get it up to Kawagule. Kawagule will kill this. 15 seconds left. Nobody's near him. It's down to 10 seconds. And Luxembourg just trying to get out on him. The bench is yelling to press. But boy, they have some heavy legs in the final seconds of this. 80 minutes. He throws it up in the air. With three seconds to go, it comes down. Oh, and he is flattened. I don't know if he was so much flattened. That was Greg Ritz. Uh, Greg, you know, Greg's not a dirty player. I think uh, there wasn't that much contact there. You could see the great celebration out of the Uganda team. Big props to those guys for the come from behind win. Really great back and forth battle. That was that was a pleasure. That's the best game of the tournament so far, yes. I think. And the team held it together until we won it seven, seven to six uh, at the end of, of the fourth quarter. And Everyone was ablaze. Everyone was celebrating. Everyone was happy. The, our supporters on the international level, the donors, the people that have been supporting Team Uganda with the resources in terms of funding and, and also the equipment. So we are doing it for, for a cross-section of, of people, not only our nation. We are also doing it for the Lacrosse world that has given us this opportunity. We need to prove that as Africans, we are willing and we are committed to learning the game of lacrosse, perfect it, come onto the international level, compete, not just show up to, 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 to see people playing and they say there is a team from Africa, but we are saying we, we are coming to the World Championship to compete for, for the top spots. Luxembourg was, uh, was a mix of uh, both excitement and, uh, and, and toughness, because uh, uh, for starters we are trying to look for the first win and. Uh, we really didn't know how they played before since they were a new, a, a new country as well at uh, the World Championship. Uh, but managing to get the win at the end of the game was really exciting for, for everyone on the team. Following the Luxembourg game, the Cranes suffered lopsided losses to both Hong Kong and Wales. The team is looking to continue to improve as their next opponent they face will be France. <laughs> 